Welcome to Sweet Kitchen Skills. Today we focus on how to temper, not so much on the design. Well, this one will not be perfect. Tempering cocoa butter, heat to 45 to 50 degree, stir, cool to 26, 27 degree, stir, warm it up to 28 degree, and then it's ready to use. Remember when you cool the cocoa butter, use cold water or even ice water. Remember to stir, very important. Use a hairdryer to heat it to 28 degrees afterwards. When you clean your molds, use alcohol and a fiber cloth. Use the molds at room temperature, not from the fridge. Steering creates shear. Shear creates crystal seeds from the outside of the uh, container, especially when you put it in cold water. And when you, when you steer, you mix the crystal seeds inside the cocoa butter. That's why it's so important. So when, when the cocoa butter is tempered, Use, like I do, yeah, an airbrush and make dots, for example. Just be creative. This is just the way to do it. Uh, you can also splash it into the form, like I did here. And when your cocoa butter gets too cold, you can reheat it a little bit, always up to 28. Not much warmer. Um, remember to stir all the time. Just make different colors. Put it inside your form. Clean the form before the cocoa butter is totally crystallized. And then let it rest at room temperature or in the fridge. In the fridge for five minutes at room temperature it will take a longer time. Just let it crystallize. That looks nice. Some people say it's best to crystallize the cocoa butter overnight. At 16 degree, that's that always works. But you can also do it just in the fridge, cool it, and then afterwards put the chocolate on. Both work. You will find out what what works best for you. So if you want uh, dark chocolate uh, uh, and you want to see the color, you need to put white cocoa butter or white chocolate chip. I just put white tempered cocoa butter with my finger. It's not the best way to do it, but it's just to show you that it works. Then I let it crystallize. I put tempered dark chocolate inside to create the shell. And then you will already see the design. So in some of these uh, cavities, I didn't put white uh, cocoa butter. And then you will see the difference between putting white cocoa butter and don't put white cocoa butter. If you don't put white cocoa butter or white chocolate and you put dark chocolate on there, you will not see the colors. So this is with white cocoa butter. So if the tempering was right, your chocolate shells would just pop out of the uh, molds. This is not a beautiful design. This is just to show you the difference by uh, using color on dark chocolate or using uh, a color on white chocolate or on cocoa butter, white cocoa butter. You see the difference here? It's hardly to see the, the colors. You need very strong colors if you want to color dark chocolate. So I hope you, I will see you soon. Uh, I will be back with more tempering cocoa butter. This one, this design, beautiful, easy design and more colors to use. I will be back soon. See you. Bye bye.